What is going on guys, Ben Gligan here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants Franchise. I would appreciate if you're not subscribed already, if you hit that subscribe button and let's try to hit over 1,000 likes. Today we got some upgrades to make. Saquon Barkley went off in the last game. If you did not see that, I highly recommend checking it out. Where's the C on his uh, chest, by the way? He, he's a captain on the team. Kind of weird, but we will upgrade him. And I kind of wonder where we should upgrade him because his two can spin is already great. I think I probably want to go trucking. I really like what trucking would bring to the table. So we're going to go power back here. And we're going to see as he goes up to a 90 overall. Trucking goes up only one. Break tackle up one though, which I like to see. Trucking up to an 87. If he can get like 90 plus trucking, that would be absolutely phenomenal. But uh, yeah, he's already a beast. Evan Ingram. Might as well just do vertical threat. Take his best attributes, make him even better in that regard. Hopefully it touches some of the short stuff as well. And it does. Medium route running plus one, deep route two, catching plus one, but catching traffic is huge. Gets better run blocking, plus one to release, spin move, stiff arm, better pass blocking as well. Evan Ingram, kind of a beast. Dalvin Tomlinson, someone we want to focus on as well. Probably going to go into the run stuff in category here. Just make him just the replacement for Damon Harrison at some point. He's going to go up to an 86 overall as a hopefully power move too. Nope, but we do get block shedding, which I will take. Obi Melifonwu, it's got to be zone. It's got to be zone. He's just so bad in that department. And he doesn't do a ton out there. Plus three zone coverage is huge. It gets him up to a 73. And then uh, the rest doesn't really matter too much. But we're in a really good spot. As we have the Seahawks and then our bye. This will be our bye week. For sure. We're going to get that involved in this video. But we are 4-1. and one. The win over the Eagles was huge. And if you guys watch 49ers franchise, you know that I hate, hate, hate playing the Seahawks. It is one of my least favorite things ever. Really not a fan. Draft stories, anything crazy. Um, we get Boyd. Has been baiting quarterbacks, so he's a cornerback, Boyd. And defensive lineman Carlson is not producing. Who is this Boyd character? Let us, let us learn a little bit more about him because clearly he's a, a beast. Is he a cornerback? No. Is he a safety? A liar Boyd out of Georgia Southern. Might have decent development. Could be a good fourth round pick. He looks just okay. Michael Haynes looks all right. Julius Manning is really my main target at free safety. And then a cornerback. These top two guys are just so good. Let's go ahead and scout quarterback, though. Carter Drogue. Great cannon arm. We got two Texas QBs. Shundrez Allen. He looks like he could be decent. Feloy Earl. Not a huge fan of the name, but he looks like he could be okay as well. I got to say that once again, kind of a weak quarterback class. Kind of a weak quarterback class. None of these guys look too incredible if i had to choose one i would probably lean towards shundrez allen if i had to choose one but uh overall nothing crazy the seahawks are one and four we might just play the moments here and i think that's exactly what we're gonna do and probably play the buccaneers in this episode as well the seahawks not too high of an overall but we're gonna have bye week we're going to have Buccaneers maybe in this one as well. We'll see how long the Seahawks takes. But Saquon Barkley coming off a huge game. I think aggressive blocking is the move. It just seems to be. Seems to be really good. All right, third down alert. We're taking over to hopefully keep the drive alive. We're playing at CenturyLink. So, of course, the crowd is going berserk. Let's see if we can get the first down with Saquon Barkley. Will we have that left side over there? You know, I'm not sure that we will. We're going to run the ball anyway. And Saquon Barkley. Breaking tackle somehow staying on his feet. Very interesting first down, but it's a first down nonetheless. It's a big third down and seven. We're going to throw to Saquon Barkley. It's a fantastic play by the defensive tackle. 92. Malik McDowell, maybe? I, I don't know how he got involved in that play. Hopefully, you can just kick the field goal here and get some type of points up on the board. And we do. 3-0 Giants. 
Wish we could have gotten the touchdown. Just played it safe. I'll take the points. And they safetyed us? What? That's a sack. Let's go. Ellis offered off the edge. We sent heat and we got it. The name of the game today is keep Russell Wilson inside the pocket. Get back and get the sack. Olivier Vernon. What nice play. A very interesting score of five to three. And it is third down and four. Is that a strong safety blitz? It is. We're going to throw to Odell Beckham Jr. who holds on. Touchdown. That's really just the scapegoat on this team. And I say that not so much in terms of like we're blaming him. Anything that you might normally use scapegoat. But he's just like, you know, whenever there's trouble, whenever there's an issue, give the ball to Odell Beckham Jr. and everything is going to be all right. I really want to see Howard Russell do something. But it's third and ten. It's a tough spot to just rely on him. And we're going to check down to Saquon Barkley. Trying to get to the first down marker. Can't quite. One-on-one, -on -one, Odell Beckham Jr. We'll give, him a, we'll give him a shot. Oh my God, he made the catch out of bounds. What a snag. Kyle Laletta, 15 for 17, 178 in a TD, by the way. That's a pretty good start. That's a great throw to Odell, too. We just couldn't come down with it. I might try the same to Howard Russell. Now we're going to run the ball. We're going to run the ball. They are not set up to defend this. And there's Saquon Barkley. Takes a huge hit from Earl Thomas, but propels him forward. And we're that much closer to the first down marker. I like Odell here on the, on the slant. Looks like it would have been covered. We're going to throw inside. It's off Evan Ingram. That's, that's just really unlucky. Odell was open, too. We're going to settle for the field goal. That's a really unfortunate way to cap off this drive. As we had Odell, too, and that was a definite first. But we'll take the field goal, go up 13-5. to five. Maybe one of the strangest scores I've ever seen. I'm also going to turn on... No, not Super Sim. We'll get to that in a minute. I want to turn on aggressive blocking. And you know what? Ball carrier... Aggressive, why not? Yeah, I'll tell you why not, because they're going to fumble. What are these other options here? Deep pass catching. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to go ahead and rock out with that. First and 10. This is now run the ball down their throats. If he fumbles or we get a hold, that sucks. But it is what it is. Take one up the middle. Take the first down. We should have a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Russell. We're going to take the shot. Go up and make the play. It's going to be an interception. It's going to be what? Dante Johnson? I guess he's on the Seahawks now. Moving through the NFC West. And I am no longer on play the moments, clearly. That sucks. I, I like taking shots to him, but he's got to start coming down with some. Can we get a fumble? Not too much to ask. That's the trouble with aggressive uh, blocking. But it does generate you a ton more in terms of big plays. And that's what we're all about. And we got it. We got it. Russell. Howard. Russell. Touchdown. Does the John Cena. You can't see me. And no one could. As he got easily into the next level of the defense. Way past him. And I'll take the TD. I love it. And another situation now where we're past uh, their 50. There's Odell. That's a great ball by Kyle Aletta. Odell going to be down at the 11. Saquon's jumping over this line. I'm telling you he is. There it is. Saquon Barkley. End zone. Touchdown. He claps for the attempt. The attempt was not good enough. And that is your final 30 to 8. As this team is really starting to cook here. That's going to make us 5 and 1 now, I believe. We got embarrassed by the Bears. Absolutely embarrassed by the Bears. But I'll tell you what. We looked really good against the Eagles for the most part. Run defense needs some work. We looked overall really good against the Seattle Seahawks. And this team is just 
they're they're playing really well right now shut down russell wilson kyle laletta was great today russell wilson threw two picks let's go ahead and see uh saquon barkley 100 yards on the day also that touchdown as you saw at the end odell beckham jr seven catches 103 yards and a touchdown sterling shepherd seven for 98 howard russell five for 82 and a td blocking trent brown is horrific bobby wagner was all over the field today tackles for loss patrick wright involved on two frank lark got two sacks ellis offered and olivier vernon both had a sack as well where has the roman soldier been Rowan Pugh has not been involved lately as Antoine Todd and Janoris Jenkins both had interceptions, forced fumbles for Janoris Jenkins, recoveries for nobody, and no defensive touchdowns. So here is our bye week. This is basically the trade deadline. Do I want to do anything at the trade deadline is the question. I like the team where it is. Let's look at middle linebackers. Alexander Espinoza out of Wisco. Looks very good. What about Vincent Yamini? Yamini, he's not that good. Rashad McDonald. Okay, coverage player. Deion Andrews is better. Nothing special, though. Not a lot of talent in this draft class at the positions that I, uh, I could use some help. Howard Russell has one as well. Where can you improve? If you look at him, he's got 94 spectacular catch. Route running could be a thing. But he has so much potential. There's just so much potential here. I think we're going to just work on deep threat, maybe. I think deep threat's going to be the best for us. Possession. I, I like... I want deep route running to get better. That's not that good right now, right? 70. We're going to go... Ah, release is super important. We streak him a lot. It's already an 85. We're going to go deep threat. That takes him up to an 80. And catching traffic up two. Catching up one. Deep route running plus two. Medium plus one. So he is looking already uh, a little bit better here. Shocker. So Roman Pugh. He's been kind of quiet lately, dude. But he does have an upgrade point. He is a beast. Good speed, great power move. We're going to make it better here today because we're upgrading power rusher. He goes up to an 84 overall. Show me power move this time. Plus two. There we go. We didn't see it last time, but that's an 89. I want that in the 90s, but 89 will do for now. No one else really has anything uh, other than our starters. Lorenzo Carter. He's more of a stand-up linebacker now. He's got 83 finesse moves, but he doesn't blitz that often. Because we have Roman Pugh. He's a, we're in a weird spot with Lorenzo Carter. He's got a lot of good traits, too. I almost wonder if we're misusing him. He blitzes sometimes. I don't... <sighs> we're going to go run stopper. We're going to commit to what we're doing here. Plus two block shed, pursuit, tackle. 81 block shed. He's, he's looking pretty good. He'd be a better defensive end, but maybe after OV is out of the picture. Whenever that might be. I'm not sure. We had an interesting team. I almost would say... No, Roman Pugh's a pure 4-3 defensive end. Lorenzo Carter is like a 3-4 outside linebacker. He could play D-end in a 4-3. Roman Pugh could play inside or outside, maybe. I don't. We're in a weird spot. I don't. I don't want to feel like I'm misusing Lorenzo Carter, but at the same time, I mean, are we? Are we misusing him? It's tough to say. It's so weird that we're 87% scheme fit in spread. The wide receivers just don't. They don't get XP fast enough. That's because that's what uh the scheme fit does. They get XP faster. That's all it does. I don't want to make Odell a possession style guy. You know, and then I need Howard Russell to improve. I need this offensive line more than anything to get better. And that's going to revolve around Will Hernandez and Logan Robeson. Kyle Aletta probably won't be the starter. Saquon, he's a beast. It doesn't really matter. Is there a better scheme for us than spread? 
run and shoot maybe i think run and shoot might be our best bet sure saquon barkley doesn't fit but this way the entire offensive line really uh, that i think it looked like it fit better it doesn't look like it does here i'm just gonna stick and spread for the time being <laughs> i don't know i feel like we're kind of in a weird spot i want will hernandez to get xp i want logan robeson to get xp at a higher rate it doesn't make too much of a difference i mean spread probably just makes the most sense and then defensively i mean we're fine roman Pugh playing in his correct scheme probably would be big ov doesn't need the uh the xp at this point so what we're gonna do we're gonna make him the left end now and roman Pugh is gonna play right end all right roman Pugh now plays right end he's been coming off the right edge a little bit anyways so it doesn't really matter the only thing this does for us now is it makes the scheme fit roman Pugh instead of olivier vernon which means that he's gonna get more xp because if you go into uh, Scheme Fit here, I believe it says it. Hold on, where is it? Players within three overall points of the preferred player type will increase the Scheme Fit percentage. Players with a perfect Scheme Fit match will earn extra XP in weekly training. So I have automated weekly training because I, I just don't care to do that, if I'm being honest. But uh, they'll be like doing the correct players anyway. They should be for the most part. So I think that's going to be better for us in the long run. And then what is JW Hilton? He's agile. Our line is fit to be an agile offensive line in spread. But hey, we're kind of all over the place. Trent Brown is pass protector. Logan Robeson is pass protector. But then Will Hernandez is power. Hilton's agile. Faison, I believe, is agile. Or he's pass protector. Can we get an O-line where we have just all pass protector? So I, that was running and shoot. We've already, we've been down this road. Spread just makes the most sense. What we could do, because we're at the trade deadline, essentially. We could make a move on the offensive line. I like Logan Robeson too much, but maybe Logan Robeson can play guard. 74 speed. Oh, he could. Pass protector. Would that fit with us? Maybe a right tackle. I am going to change it. We're going to go vertical zone run now because I don't care about Kyle Aletta. I don't really see him as the future at quarterback. And um, ah, maybe he is. <laughs> I keep going back and forth. This like doesn't matter that much. But it's like everything I go into, we would have to trade so many players in order to, to really rework our team here. And I don't really want to do that. And the offensive line, I want Hernandez. I want Robeson. Trent Brown's kind of fine. But there's no way to make these guys fit. Like, if Logan Robeson, he'd still be a pass protector right guard. He would be a really good right guard. But it makes, it makes sense to keep him at center. Could we make a move on the offensive line? I don't know. On the trade block... There are some players that are really interesting to me. Jalen Mills, Jordan Lewis, uh, even Tavon Young. I don't want to do interdivisional trading. I have no interest in uh, Keep Tlaib. Tavon Young would be a really interesting player to get. I would have to see what we, we could give up for him. What about a backup center? Do you have any interest? No, I don't really want to give up value. Our team's been playing pretty well. And I feel like cornerback is not a huge position of need. So I, I think I'm going to pass. I, there are some good cornerbacks here, mainly in the NFC East. But I am going to pass. All right, we are advancing to the next week. And that we might still have it, yeah. Trade center is uh, still there. As we're going to play the moments versus the 1-5 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I guess I hit circle somehow. Hunter McGill out of ECU. Looks decent. Oh, your name is Pone? I'm interested. Mm, great right tackles there. 
I'm really, I think, going to focus on scheme fit for the offensive line. Tyree Dutka. He might be the move. Craig Tribble has missed several team activities at Pitt. What are you doing, Craig? Come on, Craig. All right, Tampa Bay Bucks are an 80 overall. Good for them. One and five sucks to suck, I guess. I feel like I've known the feeling. Were we one and five at some point last year? Might have been. Third and eight. Playing man coverage. That's going to be the spot in the... Who's, who's on him? BJ Goodson? Is that Cameron Brait? He's still out here? All right. We just, yeah, it is Cameron Brait. We just got to get better in zone. We're going to work on, or work and focus on being a zone team from now on. I know our, like, our scheme fit is man, but they need to be better at zone. Oh, is that not mine? Oh my goodness, that... It's like hot potato afterwards. Lorenzo Carter almost threw it into the arms of another giant. Couldn't quite tell who it was. Everything happened very quickly. But I'm glad we did not allow a touchdown there. Third and two. Jameis Winston, throw it to me. That's going to be a pick. Come on. Ellis Offer drops it. Janoris Jenkins drops it after him. Where are the picks? Third and ten. We're rocking man here. Morris DuBose got burned at the start, it looked like. And what am I doing? We're getting the stop. This might be field goal range, though. Tampa might be able to extend their three-point lead to six, and they do. Third and five. That's wide open. Evan Ingram, first down. Third and four. Come on, Saquon. Blocking was decent. Wow, what a shed. We're moving her in the hurry up. We're going to run it again. No way he sheds twice. I'm not playing for the field goal here. We're taking the lead. Fourth and two. Saquon Barkley up the middle. Touchdown. Let's go, Saquon. Love it. Oh, don't dab. Come on now. Come on now. And Tampa scores almost immediately. First and goal. We're going to roll out with White Lightning. That is not his nickname. Oh my God, and I fumbled the ball. And, of course, we did not recover. Uh, my bad. My bad on that one. Saquon Barkley, touchdown number two. That's just the way we got to score, man. Saquon Barkley. It's nice to have him going. We missed the extra point. Is that what happened? Sick. Sick. I really wish Morris DuBose would get targeted more. Is he even on the field here? This is a huge package. We have like linebackers and corners or safeties. That's it. That's out of bounds. Lucky there. Antoine Todd in coverage in man. Yikes. Third and nine. This is the situation they give us. That's a really interesting route by Howard Russell. I think that'd be sick in real life. Not sure how it's going to work in the game. Here's the play action. Uh, I, Vernon Hargraves makes the interception. Saquon goes down. I don't know, man. I felt like we were going to be able to get it past him, but we were not able to do it. Somebody get open. I'm... I'm uh, one, if that was a pass to the outside like it should have been, that's a completed pass and not an interception. Eric Reed makes a good play on the ball, though. It's, the pass isn't even close to where it needed to be. But we can win the game here. Three turnovers. We don't deserve to win. Third and 12, dude. I don't like third and 12. Not my favorite. Evan Ingram, please make a play. Uh, fourth and 12. There it is. It's such a bad throw. Oh my god, Kyle Laletta. And I've called a timeout accidentally in a... They, why? Okay. We're going to let him score. Uh, they had to. They had to score quickly. Uh, I really expected him to run the ball. I took the safety out of there. And now it's 34 to 13. They didn't give me a fucking moment. 
That's unbelievable. We're gonna, we're gonna lose here. We've had five turnovers. What is going on? There's Odell. I mean, we'll get out of bounds, but uh, the game's over, unfortunately. We just turned over the ball far too many times, and only two interceptions from Kyle Aletta means that we've been fumbling a little bit. That's the game. We're going to lose 34 to 13. Unbelievable here as the 1 in 5 Bucks dominated in simulation. And honestly, I didn't take advantage of my opportunities. Uh, I think that my interception I threw to Vernon Hargraves was, all right, I'm taking a shot. I feel like it should not have been a pick, but it was. And then the interception on the goal line should not have been an interception. It, the pass wasn't even close to where it needed to be. Jameis Winston was great today, which is annoying. Saquon Barkley, 119 yards and two touchdowns. He's really getting going. Kyle Aletta fumbled. Receiving Howard Russell, seven catches, 82 yards. Cameron Braided, two touchdowns. Odell, five for 112. We had no receiving touchdowns. Blocking. The O-line was so bad. Defensively, Quan Alexander was all over the field. Sacks. Just so many. OV had one. Former Giant JPP. Former Giant Alec Ogletree combined for half of one. Oh my god. This defense was relentless. Eric Reed, Vernon Hargraves got the two picks. Force fumbles. Ogletree, Vita Vea. Levante David and Alec Ogletree with the recoveries. No defensive touchdowns. This was a disaster of a game. None of what happens makes any sense, in my opinion. But what are you going to do? Sometimes you're going to lose games. It is what it is. It happens. And uh, does anyone have skill points? We actually do. Saquon. Power back. I want him to get trucking. Get up near 90. Only plus one trucking again? 89, though. It's better than I thought it was. Damar Jacobs. He got some action. We might as well go possession. He fits the scheme. He's up to a 79 overall. And there's a uh, ton of stuff getting improved a little bit. He's just, he's a short possession receiver. I mean, or he's big, but he's just like, you know, short range guy. And then Nat DeGear. It's got to be zone coverage. We're just going to make him better in that department. I mean, we might as well. So he goes up to a 76 overall. Improving little by little every day. Plus two to zone coverage is not bad. Makes him an 84 with 84 press. Great nickel cornerback. And then BJ Hill. It doesn't really matter. We'll do run stuffer. And uh, plus two block shed is going to give him 84 block shed. Not terrible. Next week, we are going to face the 5-3 and three Dallas Cowboys. Basically for the division lead. This is going to be a very, very important game. The winner, well, depending on if the Cowboys uh, had their bye week or not already, which I don't think they would have. They might have like a like a week nine bye or, so, or week ten, I mean. Hold on. When are the Cowboys? Can I not check? This is standings. I want I want schedule. Did I not click schedule? I did not. When did the Cowboys play? The Cowboys, they have their bye week in week ten. So th this honestly is for the division lead pretty much. Because if we win, we go 6-2. and two, They go 6-3. and three. If we lose... Uh, I'm saying if, if they win. If we lose, we would go 5-3. and three. So they would, they would take it. So we really need a win here to keep atop of the NFC East. That's going to be the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. No!